She was stabbed to death inside her own condo. Tonight, a trial is underway for the man accused of walking into a St. Thomas nurse's room in the middle of the night and killing her last year. News Channel 5's Matthew Torres was there as it became emotional for the family and friends. Matthew, we now know how that accused killer got in. Well, Vicki, we have learned that Tiffany Ferguson went back home with the co-worker that night after going out with some friends. At some point, that co-worker then got a ride to go back to his place. And when he left the condo, the door was still unlocked. And it wasn't long until someone stepped inside the condo and violently stabbed this nurse to death. So just to be clear, is that knife that you collected at the scene? It's the six-inch cutlery kitchen knife prosecutors say was used to kill Tiffany Ferguson in February 2017. These wounds were devastating. The 23-year-old St. Thomas West nurse was found bleeding in her bed at her Wedgwood Place condo. She was stabbed nine times throughout her body. She was stabbed. Left side. She was stabbed right side. She was stabbed in the center of her chest. Investigators say Christopher McLawhorn is the killer and used a knife from her kitchen. The knife was found outside of her complex with blood that tested positive for her DNA. Alongside it, they also found several items that belonged to her condo, including a laptop and jewelry. Earlier, he's also accused of trying to open car doors near the area before checking on unlocked apartment doors in the complex where he stumbled upon Ferguson's condo. The first thing that woke me up was a scream that morning. Her roommate was inside too and woke up to Ferguson's yelling. Did Ms. Ferguson ever have any response? Uh, she had like one short breath at one point, but that was all. Prosecutors say surveillance cameras show not only McLaughorn going in and out of her condo, but running away towards the interstate moments before her roommate called 911. Family and friends of Ferguson sat as they heard details and looked at bloody crime scene pictures. It proved to be too emotional, especially for identical twin sister. And one C. And prosecutors say later that morning, McLawhorn pawned one of the rings that belonged to her second roommate who was not home at the time. Now, this trial is supposed to last all week. Tomorrow, we should be able to hear from McLawhorn's cellmate, who apparently McLaurin confessed to killing Ferguson too. He says that this was all an accident and that he responded because she started yelling when he saw her, him with a knife. We'll have much more of this story on newschannel5.com. But for now, reporting live in Davidson County Courthouse, I'm Matthew Torres, News Channel 5.